I hope you can see this. That's a chrysalis squirming and he's hanging from uh, a discarded uh, jacket. And I don't know what kind of chrysalis that is. But I just got here, pulled the picnic table into the shade here in the park next to Kroger's and spotted these two chrysalis, I guess. <laughs> Chrysalises. Well, trust old Jack to find a way. Uh, I have brought the chrysalises home and have them set up, as you see, hanging from a strip of cardboard, which I custom cut in my old world craftsmanship way. Um, and uh, I took care when removing the chrysalises each one to um, do so just retaining a little bit of the silk that they were hanging from and then looped a piece of uh, thread <laughs> through that and uh, got them all hanging in a bunch there by uh, using a little bit of uh, good old scotch tape. There's another one down here at the bottom and his its uh, silk broke off at the at the tail end there and so he's got to uh, lay in the basement while his uh, brothers or sisters um, you know kind of like hang up there like the royalty that they are so hopefully we'll get uh, we'll find out what these things actually uh, develop into uh, moth or butterfly. Uh, it'll be kind of interesting to see. And that's about it. I just wanted to confirm my total craziness when it comes to nature and having it uh, under observation. Hey, I'm just getting ready to leave, walk out the door. I thought I would check my chrysalises and by golly we have a moth. It has emerged. Now I got to figure out what to do um, to cover this up because we can't have moths flying around the apartment. I'll find out what uh, what kind of moth this is uh, when I get home, but I've got to stop right now and leave. Well, here we are Thursday, and we now have two of these moths uh, hatched out. Um, I am going to uh, take a couple photographs and I'm going to return these both to um, uh, to the place where I got them, the park where I got them today. Uh, in fact, right after I get done with this uh, video and a couple of shots, I'm going to package them up carefully, put them in my backpack and take them back to where they came from. Uh, they deserve that much. And uh, I'm just gratified that we're uh, getting this uh, very prompt uh, action out of these little fellas. Um, that's two out of four and two to go and the other two uh, look okay. Um, and surprisingly you can see that um, it was the the chrysalis in, in what I call the basement <laughs> um, is, is the one that hatched. And uh, you can see the little pieces laying there beside it. Um, I would just like to catch one of these uh, when they start to come out and record the whole process. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get to that point. We'll see. Okay, we've transported back to the original tree next to the hanging garment where they started out. And uh, yeah, I'm going to take uh, a second here. I don't know where this is going to work or not. I notice that they're very clingy. When you get them on their finger, on your finger, they don't want to let go. Uh, they've got very effective grasping feet, uh, which tells you something about their habits. And the other thing, 
that we're concerned about here is that they're a very light color. Um, and uh, that indicates they're probably a night creature, a uh, night flying insect. So I'm going to try to put them uh, in, uh, in this tree in a position where they will uh, be somewhat concealed from birds and so forth. Whoa, that one went all the way to the ground, so we're not having much luck here. They don't want to be moved. They, they grip onto even this aluminum. Now the one that fell on the grass, um, I'm probably going to leave there. Uh, Kind of resembles, kind of resembles a leaf. You notice I almost lost the camera there. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can get down here and uh, give you a shot of that fellow. And you notice he's not moving. Here comes another moth or butterfly. <laughs> right in for a landing, right here. <laughs> That's funny. I tried to get pictures of butterflies and moss and and here one flies right into the frame here look at that he's landing right on top of the look what's going on here he it was attracted by the scent of this moth I'm wondering if these aren't females and that this isn't a male pursuing because this moth it came right in, circled, and found this moth. And now uh, my moth is all agitated. And you notice how much bigger she is, uh, which is not unusual for insects. Oh, well, this has turned into somewhat of a drama. <laughs> And meanwhile, we're uh, three and a half minutes into this little drama, and uh, this may be, see now, this one's crawling when she saw my uh, camera lens come close. And uh, that kind of tells you something. She's at least aware, and uh, I think that we've just witnessed a, a mating. Now let's see if I can find Uncover Junior here. Now yeah, he took off. The wind's kind of blowing. And now I don't see where... Uh, oh, here's here's the other one. She's She went back to the tree. That's funny. Uh, her visitor kind of woke her up. So, um, <laughs> I, I didn't expect this. Uh, I'm trying to collect my thoughts because I <laughs> really didn't expect this. But uh, that looks like the goodbye to these two. And it looks like those other two will hatch and I'll, I'll bring them back here to the park as well. And uh, as you can see there, um, the one is still up here and the other one is down at the bottom of this tree. And we're going to leave them just uh, apparently uh, ready to adjust to their proper environment. I just like any entomologist familiar with moths in Michigan uh, to post the identity of this species. And uh, other than that, uh, I just uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.